Hello, my name is David Mangello, and I'm going to be showing you how to color separate your images for silkscreen. I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements 8, and you can download that at adobe.com. They have a free trial version for 30 days. Uh, you can also buy it at the store. Uh, it's about 80 bucks. Um, you can buy it online. It's about 80 bucks there, too. Uh, and um, this is what we're going to be using. Uh, Photoshop Elements comes with two programs. One of them is Organize. It organizes all your um, photos on your computer and stuff like that. Really not going to be using that at all for silk screening, but it, it is a little handy device. Um, we're going to be using Edit, so we're going to go ahead and go with Edit. Okay, after you've opened up Photoshop, it should look something like this. I'm going to go ahead and close these windows here because I don't need them at all. Uh, you can leave them open if you want. It's fine by me. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and start color separating. Uh, I have a file here. It's You can download it from my website, davesupply.com, and we'll go ahead and get started right now, if that's okay with you. Okay, as you can see, the picture here, it has a blue circle and a red circle. You're probably thinking that these colors are already separated. You're right in that aspect, that they are separated. But with silk screening, to make a negative, what we need to do is have each color have its own negative or own template. And what we're going to do here is separate them in Photoshop so that we can have uh, each color separated. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, what we're first going to do is take a look around uh, the Photoshop. What, as you can see right here to the right is layers. And layers is basically the templates uh, for each color. And we're going to be working with that window real quickly here. Uh, in order to separate each color, we first have to uh, extract it from the image. So what we're going to use is the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool is a magic tool. Basically what you do is you select a color and it selects all the surrounding colors that are similar to that color. It's real easy on solid colors right now, but it really helps in um, more detailed color separations and things like that. Uh, the magic wand tool is definitely a, a tool you'll be using a lot more of. Uh, once I got the blue selected, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead to edit and copy. You can also use control uh, C if you want to. And then once I copy it, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. If you look over here into the layers, you'll see that the blue has its own layer to it. Okay, now that you have the blue has its own layer, uh, you look right here and you'll see the little eyeball. The eyeball displays if the layer is uh, displayed or not in the main image. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And now all I have is the blue. Uh, I still have my background picture and everything, but the main image only shows the blue. I'm going to go ahead and put the background back on. I'm going to go ahead and select the background. I'm going to go ahead and have a magic wand tool and click the red and copy and paste uh, the red so it has its own image. So now I have both of my images here. Okay, now I have three layers here. What I want to do in silk screening to make a negative, I don't really want color on it, I want it black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each layer. Right now I have the red selected. So I'm going to select that. Uh, and magic wand tool it just in case uh, something weird happens. Now I'm going to go to the feel um, the f all right now I'm going to go to the fill bucket and my color is black. This indicates uh, what color the fill is going to be the, uh, the left one. We're going to make sure that that's black. I'm going to go ahead and fill the red with black. Next I'm going to do the same thing with the um, blue layer. I'm going to go ahead and magic wand tool the blue just to select it. and I'm going to go ahead back and fill it. If you don't select it, it's weird things happen and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I have both of the colors and I'm ready to make negatives with it. All I have to do is diselect 
the background and one of the images, one of the layers. Okay, now that I have one layer, what I'm going to do is go ahead and print just that one layer out. And how that happens is it automatically sees that these are not visible, so whatever is visible in the main image here uh, is going to be printed out. Uh, so you just go ahead and hit print and it's going to show you a print preview. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it because I you um, I'm going to cancel it. But here's a print preview. This is what prints out. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And then what I want to do is go ahead to the next image and um, or I'm sorry, the next layer and I'm going to print that one out as well. And you're going to see it here in a second. Now this color is going to print out. Uh, and then uh, silkering is always um, going to require the the full image. So you can just go ahead and print this that out as well too, the full image. That's, it has to do with aligning the colors to, to print onto your t-shirt and that's a later process. So, but for right now you just want to go ahead and print out the full image and it doesn't matter if they're it's color or black and white or doesn't matter and uh, that's about it okay that concludes this um, color separation video if uh, I am currently under the process of uh, doing videos and also courses to learn how to silk screen and um, other things as such uh, you can go ahead and check it out on my website uh, it's doing beta version so a lot of its free and um, I also give uh, over the phone support and email support if you're learning how to silk screen or uh, color separate and such like that I've been doing silk screening for 15 years and I've been helping people get started in silk screen so uh, I've heard all the questions and I can answer all the questions so if you would like to stop by my website it's davesupply.com